welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban knife style and jungle survival. Today, we're going to look at the best Swiss Army knife setup for urban EDC. First, if you watch this channel regularly but have not subscribed, please do so to help the channel out. I've had this Victorinox climber for many years. I bought this in the early 90s and I've used it a lot over the years, both for urban EDC and for camping. You can see the blade is all scratched up and I've sharpened it quite a lot as well. Now, I think that this tool set is pretty good and at least at that time and for years ahead, I thought that this was the perfect tool set for an urban EDC. You've got that main blade, you have that cap lifter with wire stripper and uh, flat head screwdriver. You've got the can opener and uh, screwdriver and I use that can opener a lot out in the field because we had a lot of canned food. We've got the pen blade over here, so that small blade and of course we have the pelt scissors which can be very useful to cut thread or just really just uh, fine work and sometimes if someone needs to cut something uh, I don't always want to pull out a knife because they might be intimidated so a pair of scissors can come in very handy. Uh, this also has the corkscrew and I've got the mini driver inside because I find that very useful as well. Now the super Tinker is a very similar model and the only difference is that instead of the corkscrew, that's the Phillips head screwdriver and that's also pretty good but eventually I opted for this because I felt that the optical screwdriver was just a bit more useful. And of course there are the scale tools uh, in the form of the tweezers and the toothpick. So overall I think this tool set is great, it's a three layer knife. Now let's uh, look at the thickness. It's about 17 millimeters and that's about 0.67 inches. Now this is as thick as I personally want to get for an urban EDC, something that'll fit in my pocket, not too heavy and I think is just right. If I could go even thinner, I think that would be even better but that's the tool set that this has. Now fast forward many years and I think I found a more efficient version of this tool set and that comes in the form of the Victorinox Compact and I think this is really the ideal EDC knife for urban use. Now I've talked about this in my video, my favourite Swiss Army knives, you can check out that link in the card above or the description below so I don't want to rehash that but I just want to emphasise that this is a two layer knife and it essentially has all the features of the climber but in a much more compact package and hence the name compact which I think is really apt. So instead of the two tools uh, which is the bottle opener or cap lifter and the can opener you got this combo tool which I like and I think makes it really efficient and I think more of the Swiss Army knives should have that because we don't really use the can opener as much now even camping you don't bring out canned foods and even if you have cans you have that pull off tab lips. Now you have everything you don't have that pen blade but I think that's an okay sacrifice. Now in addition to the tweezers and the toothpick over here you also have that pressurized pen. I think that's great. Again, for Urban EDC, I think that's well thought out to have this plus scales to have the pen included. And uh, of course, there's the corkscrew and I have the mini driver. In fact, it came with it. So very well thought out package. And I think when it comes to Urban EDC, this to me, for efficiency, for that thickness, and let's just have a look at that thickness, that's 0.58 inches and just 14.8 millimeters so thinner by one layer more compact more lightweight uh, so i think this is really good now in terms of a setup because that's why i talked about at the beginning of this video we're talking about swiss army knife setup what makes this i think even better is the inclusion of some things are put inside and when we think about urban edc we think about the different tasks that would probably need or different challenges that might come ahead. So it's very different from jungle survival or going outdoors or just trying to have an all-in-one tool because that's really practically hard to do. However, for this, for Urban EDC, one thing that I think uh, can be very useful is to have some kind of container. And this is what I've done over here. I've put the stainless steel capsule. It's really meant uh, for pills. So you could definitely put some kind of medication if it could fit inside. It is waterproof because there is an O-ring which is a rubber ring around there to seal it up. But what I carry inside here is a variety of thread. Now, there's 
even more space to stuff things in but just for now i have some thread and we've got quite a lot i think about three meters of thread this is black thread that i've kind of coiled together and i've taped it with some gaffers tape and i've also got some white thread over here coiled up and also taped to gaffers tape and then i've got a button i could probably put more of course the buttons must fit inside but this is great for emergency sewing because one thing uh, when you're outside in an urban environment you might lose a button you might have a slight rip in your pants and this can really be a lifesaver and to be part of an EDC tool like this it can be very useful I know what you're thinking if there's thread you need some kind of needle and I do have a needle and it's kept right over here where there's a hole in the scales for a straight pin. Now, the newer models of the Swiss Army knives and the Compact come with this hole and it comes with a straight pin, which is a flat head. Uh, but I removed that and I replaced it with this needle. In order to take it out, it's easier to use the tweezers. And isn't it great? There's a tweezers with this Compact. I fit a corner into the eye of the needle and then I can kind of pull it out. And this needle, is actually quite long it's uh, I wanted one thick enough with a big enough head so it doesn't fall into that hole because once it falls in it goes into the scale you can't even get it out so find a needle which is large enough that has a big enough head and as you can see it fits right there so that makes it uh, really convenient and then kept safely as well now if you own a model which does not have this uh, needle hole there's still two places you can keep a needle and one of them is under the back tool if you have one over here now it could either be this which is a hook or the awl now both can be used and what i've done is i've placed a needle underneath and you can see it right there now if you put it in line you can actually have the tool close over it and hold it in place let me see if i can just get it out with this tweezers all just move that out let's see and they have one needle right over here now there's another place you could possibly also place a needle and that's with the actually the tweezers over here now it does depend on the uh, size of the needle or the length of the needle but for example you could put that in here and try to slot it over just like that so now the needle is in between the tweezers and that's a safe place to put it in as well and you can just make sure you just be careful when you take out the tweezers remember you have a needle inside there so that's two places to put a needle um, in addition to that pin hole in the scales so this is what i think is the best swiss army knife setup for urban edc the compact along with some capabilities of sewing thread needles uh, as well as buttons inside over here and i can carry it in my fox edc leather pouch it goes in just like that this can just hang over here and this can fit in my pocket or my bag or my pouch and it's still very compact very efficient but gives me the tool set to get through any or almost any situation in an urban environment if you have any ideas on how to improve this or you think there are better setups for an urban EDC, please let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.